You residents of Oakland have heard me on more than one occasion say that democracy works best when there's an enlightened and informed electorate. You've heard a lot of information being thrown around out there about the budget. I want you to come into my meeting, see the world the way I see the world, hear what I hear, know what I know. I'm bringing into the room the best of our budget and financial officers. These are people you should be very proud of. We're not going to have a hysterical conversation. It's not going to be full of drama. It's not going to be politically driven. It's going to be a real conversation about real issues. Oakland is in financial difficulty, and I want you to sit with me as we talk about it. Thank you. Look, folks, I'm pleased that you're here. Um, I need a briefing on the budget. I understand that we're at $42.7 million in deficit. And I remember early on, the first time, Dan, if you recall, when uh, we, pat we got the first two-year budget out there, and once I found it, we're dealing with nearly a billion dollars, but by the time the money was allocated for this, that, and the other, we got to the general fund, and this went to this department, that department, and I sort of jokingly said I was down to two million dollars to commit the Great Revolution. Well, that was $140 million worth of cuts ago. That's, that's awesome. So my first question is, how do we get to $42.7 million budget deficit for the next fiscal year? Well, the basic thing that's happened is our revenues have collapsed. We have spending under control, but our revenues have collapsed. And what that really is caused by is the real estate taxes have gone way down, not the actual taxes, but the revenues, because the assessor has reassessed all the properties down based on the real estate crash. Mm -hmm. And so the values of properties have gone down, and so our real estate revenues go down. We, four years ago, had $471 million in revenue. This year, we're going to have just over $400 million in revenue. Our spending has gone down as well, but it hasn't gone down anywhere near as much as that. And so we're now facing a $42.7 million deficit, which is predicated on just decreasing revenues and the fact that we have expenditures more or less where they are. So last year, we were able to get 10% givebacks from each of the unions. Our spending is down, our payroll is down. But because our revenues are down from declining real estate taxes, declining sales tax revenues, uh, real estate transfer tax revenues, utility tax revenues, so we're in this situation where we're at the moment have to close a $42.7 million deficit. And just to add to that, Mayor, um, as Dan mentioned, uh, our revenues are down. One of our key revenue sources, the real estate transfer tax, used to be at $80 million a year. Now it's at around $20 million. So it's a huge drop. But on top of that, the $43 million deficit that we're looking at for next year is actually the third time we're going to balance that year's budget. You have a two-year budget, and it's the second year of the two-year budget. Back in July of 2009, we balanced the $91 million deficit for the cur current year as well as the next year. So the $42 million is practically rebalancing the budget. On top of that, this city balanced almost $200 million in budget gaps just in the last two years. And that leads to Dan's comment that we kept our expenditures under control. We laid off 150 workers. We also sent over 100 workers to take golden handshake opportunity, the retirement opportunity. So we cut everywhere we could cut, in addition to um, taking employment concessions from, uh, from the unions. So if I could take what both of you, both of you are saying is that, um, first of all, we from the charter have a responsibility to present a balanced budget Correct. and to operate in the context of a balanced budget. So we didn't get to this deficit by wild spending on the part of government. We got to this deficit because of the impact of the greater impact of the global and national economy that ended up having a major impact on revenues. Is that just? That's mm -hmm. absolutely correct. So here, here's the dilemma we face. Most of the general fund, 75 percent of the general fund is police and fire. 10 percent of the general fund is debt service. We can't really do much about it any of that unless we make major reductions in police. We can't cut fire because 
They Why can't you cut fire? Because back in 2004, the fire union made a deal with the city about minimum staffing and the minimum number of trucks and engines, which had each of the staffing. So we can't cut fire, sworn fire. Now we're talking to them. We talked to them last year about the possibility of reducing staffing. They were willing to give givebacks in terms of compensation, but they weren't willing to give back on, on staffing. Um, in addition to that, we have other parcel taxes. So we have Measure Q, which funds libraries, in which we have to spend $9 million in the general fund in order to get $12 million in parcel tax. But what that means is if we want to cut $1 in library spending, we've already cut then $12 million. So we have to cut almost two-thirds of the library if we want to save $1 in library. So it doesn't make any sense to be making cuts. We then have Kids First. And Kids First cost about $23 million, which is about 6%. And that's mandated by the voters. So we have a baseline requirement, and we also have a percentage of the general fund requirement. And so we don't have any freedom of action about that. So that leaves about 7% of the general fund budget left to fund all of government. Now that's- Let me, let me just see how we get to the 7%. Approximately 75% of the general fund budget is police and fire. That's right. Then you have to service the debt. That's another 10%. So now we're at 85%. You add in Measure Q, which is the library initiative, and Kids First, bring those two together with somewhere between about 93, somewhere slightly north of 93%. So that leaves us roughly 7%. So that's where we are. How much money is 7%? It's about $28 million. What does that, what does that serve? Well, that How 20 do we million, spend that $28 Okay, that $20 million finances basically our whole uh, establishment here. It's all of our finance department that does all of our revenue mm -hmm. raising. So nine million of that is for parking where we get a certain amount of revenues that's much more than cost covering. A certain amount of that is dealing with all our licenses and fines and all of the various other revenue raising measures that a city can do. And so we, if we made any cuts in those departments, we'd be losing revenue rather than making savings, and so really we'd be you know, cutting off our nose to spite our face kind of situation. So we really can't make cuts there. Um, we have uh, a little bit of money that goes to the museum, but most of the museum is funded through the foundation. Um, we've already talked about libraries. So the rest of it has to do with general government, which includes how we do our budgeting, how we do our accounting, and our accounting is absolutely indispensable for all of the hundreds of millions of dollars of grants we receive. So if we cut that, then we put our grants in jeopardy. And then just a little bit goes to the mayor and to the council. All told, if you add it all together, it's something under $4 million. And you still need a mayor and you still need council members even if you got rid of all their staff. So there's really not a whole lot of savings even if you wiped out either of those offices. So really the dilemma we face is where can we make the cuts and where can we make that $42.7 million. And unfortunately, the logic is, is the only place where there's any money left, because we've already made massive cuts in all of the non-sworn departments. We've already made cuts of 25% or, or, or larger in each of these other departments. So that leaves us with, with police. And so what we're talking about is potentially cuts on the order of $20 million in the police department in order to help cut that $42 million deficit. Mayor, another important point to make, and I would be looking at our finance director, is a logical question would be, don't you have enough reserves to take us through the $43 million deficit? And the answer is we do not. We currently have about $10 million in general fund reserves. reserves. What and was the highest point of our reserve? Uh, general fund reserve was, well, back in the day, um, three, four, five years ago could be as high as what, 60, 75, I think. 75 million dollars. Now so that's down to? Now that's down to about 10 million dollars. And we've uh, made, tried to maintain a, a financial policy for that we can show the rating agencies that we could be fiscally uh, prudent in sending, setting aside reserves. But since we don't have reserves, we're, we're um, at a very dangerous level.